Welcome to Daily Art Day number 2868. I'm going to try and keep this video quick, but something I want to talk about is artistic stamina. Uh, something that I'm kind of playing with and coming up with. Oh, there's my shadow. There I am. Is the fact that whenever we mess up or we screw up on something, we it would be best if we have the ability to look at that in a positive light. To use our quote unquote mess ups or screw ups as the ability to grow. And I see this in so many places when I'm doing my artwork. And the reason why I have um, my current drawing of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and my previous drawing of Pocahontas up together was just kind of to show the differences between the two and a way for you as an artist to build your artistic stamina, okay? So for example, let's say that you do a drawing and it just isn't working for whatever reason. Maybe, for example, like if you look at, I'm trying to stay away from the glare here, if you look at Pocahontas, it's very soft. You know, I worked hard on really kind of mushing all of the graphite and charcoal around and kept it really soft. But then you come over here to Sarah Michelle Gellar, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and everything's really hard, sharp lines, you know, this kind of thing. So you look at the elements of the drawing and maybe, oh, that didn't work there. Maybe the, the, um, the, the lines that you chose or how you decided to render it is not working well. Maybe there's too much glare, you know, this kind of thing. But with every issue that you have, with every quote unquote problem or mess up, that problem or mess up could be used in a different drawing to work for the motive of, of that drawing. For example, I mean, I wouldn't use, within this drawing, I wouldn't start putting a bunch of lines in her face. It wouldn't work with the overall effect. The original motive for Pocahontas was to keep her soft, very ethereal, kind of faded, you know, a uh, lot, lot of soft edges. But at the, 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 the lines work really well for Sarah Michelle Gellar and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's, it's, the, the motive is completely different. So I wanted that sharpness, that grittiness when you get deep into it, but then you pull out and you see a softness of the character, you know, that kind of thing. So every quote unquote mess up you have could be a boon for any other drawing that you do. Uh, I mean, if you look at all of my current uh, or ones that I've worked on drawings, uh, my Phantom Fitness drawings, I've learned from every single one of them. I mean, for example, this is one of my first ones. You know, well, that's the very first one, Superman. But this one. You know, I did this weird thing because I just didn't want to deal with the body. You know, I learned from that. It was a mess up on that, but I can bring that back later if I want to. You know, this is all graphite. The previous one was a combination of graphite and charcoal, and I didn't really know how to deal with it. So there's some weird textural issues kind of going on in Christopher Reeve's face and that kind of stuff. But I learned from that, and I figured out later on how to correctly use graphite and charcoal together to get a particular mood such as um, Captain Jack Sparrow here very rough you know I got texture all over the place you know this kind of thing so I can jump back and forth between what would be a mess up in one drawing and is a positive in another drawing so this is kind of a, an anti-fragile idea and I'll get into that more later that's a longer discussion but the idea is you take everything that goes wrong and you use it to get better. We always use it to get better. Your worst drawings are telling you the most information, you know, this kind of thing. And every little piece that you don't do well in a drawing is a positive for some other drawing. And I've repeated that like five times. It's just a, such a huge idea for me because now I don't see any problem with the drawing as a problem anymore. I'm like, ooh, let's let's note that down, and I can definitely use that as a possibility in another drawing or a painting or something else. 
So that's artistic stamina when you're able to not only look at a setback and move forward, but turn it into a positive. Keep moving forward, keep seeing it in a positive light, neutral or neutral light. How, you know, what do you want? How can you work on this? This kind of thing. And hopefully that's helpful and hopefully it can improve your artistic stamina. Yeah. Until then, I'll see you next video. Keep creating.